Okay, welcome back to another Here's the Storm video. Uh, today we're doing a ranked match, Silver, and uh, I wasn't recording this time, so I'm recording the replay. Playing with my brother and his mouse is uh, messed up, which is why he's picking the map crazy. Because we were using uh, Auto Hockey in a different game. Ten seconds. I but I think you you guys will like this match. Five, oh no, four, it's almost 30 minutes. Three, uh, two, it one. is a cool match without uh, spoiling anything. So hope you guys enjoy. I um, guess I'll try to provide some commentary since I'm not doing it while gaming. Yeah, so here I realized how I shouldn't have gone as far in as I did. Remember saying that out loud? He's still figuring out his auto his auto hockey. He gets it sorted pretty soon though. Okay, coming back. Lost the first fight, but not a big deal. I'm getting confused because we're the red guys and they're the blue guys. It's usually the opposite. I think this is the player cam. I believe. Still uh, learning the hack keys for the replay function. Probably shouldn't do too many crazy things. Get on the trait build. Oh, we almost get her. Miss my Q there. Not the best. Really slows things down. I wonder if I can close this. I can. Nice. But am I still following? Or, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, let's see at this point. Just trying to get that poke, get that X. I warned that there could be somebody going bottom. And we discover them trying to take a camp. Missed my Q, but luckily we're able to pick it up. Miss my Q again. It's gonna happen a lot. It's okay. You miss all the Qs you don't take. I think, yeah, we just barely don't get this guy. That was my fault. I stood too far towards the obvious retreat path. Picking up Insatiable here. For a billion chomps per second. Let me 
just barely don't get this seed. Yeah, I got wrecked in there. It's all good though. So we lose that fight. Not the best. Spam clicking mid as as always. Just trying to get these minions out of the way. Got a little bit of damage on, but I did not want to investigate further into that ETC. Oh yes, I remember this. I'm requesting aid on these guys because they're pressuring mid. Kind of a lot. Nice. Reinforcements finally came. They're 10, we're not 10. And the seed's coming up, so. I think we did the correct thing here, we just... Uh, tried to find something we could do. We're getting the top soak. And you know, we think about engaging, but really we can't. We just can't. We finally hit 10. I decided because they had ETC that I'd go Eternal Beast, but as we'll see later, nice sick double kill, triple kill. So we didn't get the seed, but we did get a good team fight. Uh, I thought because the ETC might be stationary, try to unlock that it would be. Good to get. What's it called? Eternal Beast. Another seed is about to but he ends up going stage deck. Be ready for it. Spoiler. <clears throat> he goes stage deck. <coughs> All right. We're, we're up a level here. We killed a tower. They're up a seed. Ooh. Missing that jump. Right here, the team, we got split up pretty, pretty nastily. Just barely missed that chop. Don't think it would have been enough. Just trying to do as much damage as possible. This here, I completely lagged up. So as you see, all I'm doing is auto attacking. When they got the seed, I think it was like, I don't know. Too much. Don't usually get lag, man. Type it. I think even with, uh, without the lag, probably still would have gotten killed, but we'll never know. Died to the siege minions. Just trying to clear this as fast as possible. The good thing about um, Eternal Peace is you can use it like 
every single minute. And as you guys can see, this game lasted 29 minutes, so that's like 20 eternal feasts. Uh, I took a bimp, uh, Abyssal Symbiosis because it's really, really good. Try to kill this guy, but that, uh, you'd see, played us with the, the shrubbery, shrubbery play. Trying to get this camp down as fast as I can. Something finally went right. Something I thought was interesting in this game is ETC laned more than normal. I'm not usually playing super laney or anything, but. I guess this wave clear is okay. Well, so, much for your port. so this, this is when they hit 16, they start getting like all the camps on the map. Just taking camps left and right. Here we get a good knockback. Get the kill. Sewing out the kerosene. PGC comes. Bernie gets trapped. Fighting these two boys down here. Miss my champ. That's the end of my life. I see you have some thorns. Oh, uh, apparently I get out. Thought I died there, I guess not. Here we get Dread Magic. To ignore armor and deal some area damage. Going full treat. Trying to get some mana for the next seed. See this, and after I get my mana, I end up trying to go help out. But uh, a missed Q puts an end to that chase pretty fast. Don't want to risk getting jumped in the shrubbery. But hey, the tank goes first. Good knockback. Where it keeps going. Seed's so about to be up. Chasing the ETC once again because we didn't learn our lesson. And because we can almost just barely. I. Die, or I. Shadow Waltz. Non optimally, but it's okay. We at least did a lot of damage to him, so he'd have to back or count or heal or something. Germinating. Are you ready for it? Just cleaning up these minions. I remember considering if I should take the next wave, and I decided not to. Uh, maybe, maybe that's later. It is actually a pretty long. Time. Oh yeah, this is where they they just they find me. Yeah, she she gets. It's okay. She's out of position. My my uh, out of position only gets my whole team killed. 
Not a big deal. <laughs> now they're gonna get the seed. We only have three towers left. Three keeps, rather. Not looking good. But, uh... It's a 29 minute game, guys, so... Doesn't take a genius to figure out what happens. We're clinging on for dear life. Get a good chomp there. Another good champ. Kite him backwards. Another champ. Another champ for the kill. Get out for another kill. And I die because I hit E first instead of W. But A. Eh, triple kills, triple kill. And we don't lose immediately. Doesn't look good though, right? Apparently. All it takes. Is a Yorel to spawn to save the day. There we go. Instead of chasing, goes against the soap because we freaking need it. We're level 20. Looks like they're chasing the Li Ming. I'm not so sure about that. At this point, I call. There's a push mid. To my partner in crime, we go mid. Try to take advantage of it being a 5v4. Chomp, we take Eldritch Conduit because 60% attack power is insane. Or er, not attack power, 6% uh, chomp power. Get the ETC so we can ride this 5v4 train a little bit longer. I missed that thing because. Rip me. Let me decide. Let's clear the top up just a little bit. Still 5v4, so we're gonna do some sneaky shrubbery stuff. And the sneak is over. It's time to engage. Luckily, we get a kill on the Li Ming, right in the 5v4 train. A little bit longer. Refreshing. Not to believe we gather the sea. I immediately port because uh, these guys love to kill Asmodan. And we can't have that. But they did overextend to achieve such a thing. And we're gonna pick up another kill because of it. Luckily Brightwing teleported me. Missed my Q, but what else is new? See the opportunity for more killing here. W saves my life once again. But I still die to the gray me. But we do kill him. And now it's a 3v2. Riding the 
a long death timer advantage. On to the 20 minute mark coming up. And they still have three keeps and two towers. Okay. They set their eyes on the seed because they know if we can get it, it's probably going to be the end of their outer defenses. I see this, and luckily, he lives. He plays that fool. Now, if I... If I could say, I think the Leoric... was... taking too many risks... when... He's here like this. I think he could have been, you know, mid with his team or. Uh, I don't know, defend a bot or something. But he's not doing that. And you know what? Good for him. One thing I loved about the stage dive is it kind of lets you know where you're supposed to put all your moves. So as soon as he puts it up, it's like, oh, I'll queue there in like one second. Playing against the ETC was a learning experience. Not usually the type of ETC I play against. Took a lot of damage there. The Eldritch Conquest going to play. Six stacks right now. Mount up. Gets the turnaround. We pick up an ETC kill. Play our kill. And now it's a 5v3. Two are pushing the core. Luckily, three people start backing. Four people start backing. Just riding some dollar bills. Even though there's heroes here, I target the minions. Just gotta get rid of that sh stuff. <laughs> gotta get rid of that shit. Yeah, I'm not sure why Asmund stayed. He did kill a camp and give it to the other team, so I guess there's that. Mount up. And here's another example. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> here's another example of maybe Layaric shouldn't have been there. A seed has sprouted. Best not fight over it, But uh, now that it's a 4v5 once again, we're doing a lot of good team play here. I got the Li Ming there just to try to get her lower. We're a little bit low in the HP department, so we decided to step back a little bit, reset. I'm able to secure a few chomps. Merdin's going ham. Getting a little bit split up here. And I get silence. Not even sure how I was able to queue out of that. But I see this, and I know that I can kill a Leoric any day of the week. He basically gave me my HP back, so I was able to help with the retreating teammates. Good on my teammates for that fight. That was not easy. We're able to pick up another seed. Get in camp. It's all groovy. I see siege minions stack the core. Try to back as soon as I can. I think they won't get through the shields, or maybe they just barely do. 
Yeah, take a couple percentages off max. Not the best, but it could have been a lot worse. And if I'm the other team right now, I'm thinking, what have we done? How come we're not completely done winning? So here's another example of the way Eric, I think, just from the out of position. Now we lead in levels. We might have only a core to our name, but we're leading in the levels. Okay, good initiate. Chomp goes down. ETC blows his ult for a big fat nothing. <clears throat> we take one more seed. Flop it right in the bag. Good zoning by the URL over there. Taking all the advantages we can get. It's okay if they engage because it's 5v4. You bait some bad engage out. We do pick up something. An ETC. We fished up an ETC. <laughs> you would best be ready to gather another seed. All right, another seed, 30 seconds. I'm saying we should defend, set up some sort of shrubbery gank. At this point, I think our confidence is, uh, we're starting to believe we can do it. And sometimes that's all you need, a little bit of belief. I'm trying to stay uh, as far back as I can here. Things are going well for us. I'm able to get some huge burst on this gray main. We lose our healer, but their ETC goes down. Ooh, auto attacked off the mount. Layar leaves. He's also gonna go down. And now I call core because the seeds up. It's a four v two. Means we still need to be careful, but we lead in levels and. Uh, I'm going pretty hard in here. <laughs> so we're going to kill this. I back up because the polymorph is scary. And I call defend against this Leor. Knowing his habit of being out of position usually. Gets knocked away. Jump, but it's okay. Kind of gets stuck in his own ultimate. And at this point, we killed their people who are rezzing. And it's, it's over. We won. We did it. GG. All around, good game. Red team wins. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Pause this. How do I? Okay, take it easy.